as a society, we are becoming more dependent on technologies. I mean, there are hundreds, thousands of, of spacecraft, satellites that are up in outer space. And we really don't understand that environment as well as we understand this environment. What I do, and I'm involved in a much smaller group uh, that uses ground-based radars to make measurements of this particular region between outer space and in our, uh, in our atmosphere. We are trying to, just like we are trying to, I say we, scientists and engineers who, who study space weather, just like we're trying to understand terrestrial weather to predict forecast, we are trying to do the same thing with space weather. You know weather prediction, how well that goes. You know, what's the weather going to be like a week from now? It could be anything. Well, so we have the same issues with uh, space weather, except we don't have quite as good access to that region. In order to make measurements in outer space, you have to actually have spacecraft up there, right? I can't just take my thermometer and stick it up there. I have to launch a spacecraft. So, so that's a challenge for, for trying to understand or learn more about how this region works is that it's difficult to make measurements. I have uh, recently installed uh, two radars in, in, the, in the desert of Oregon and they operate continuously. They send data back to the lab. Uh, there's maintenance associated with those and then of course we collect the data from them. Then we look at the data just like you would uh, look at any data that you take from a temperature sensor or something like that. And so you're trying to understand then from that data uh, ultimately how to predict what's, what you see, what you observe. The thing I really like about this, this area of research is, is you have to have a lot of different skills. So the skills are computer programming, comfort in mathematics, elect electromagnetism, uh, electronics, and sort of a willingness to deal with, with anything that might come up. And so for instance, when, when we actually install or build one of these radars, and we go out into the, in this case, we went out into the desert of Oregon, and we simply, as a team, we built this massive and it's 25 acres, this facility, and so we built this radar. So there were times when, you know, I was the one down in the trench dragging the cables, and sometimes it was my graduate students, but, you know, we all sort of just did everything together. And I think those are the types of skills you need as a prospective student, just the willingness to be able to do those things. I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy the teaching that I get to do here at the engineering school. Uh, and I get to, I get to do research. I get to interact with with really high caliber students, and so to me, that's that's what the Thayer School provides, what Dartmouth College provides.